Hi, my name is Jose Astacio. Um, my topic for today is the role of project control and cost engineers. In the development of construction projects, two of the most important roles are managing and planning. These two roles are undertaken by project controls and cost engineers to ensure accurate execution of construction plans. Together, the project control and cost engineer team work to make certain that project schedules and costs are anticipated. The job requires incoming events to be quantified and analyzed with the aim to measure the aftermath, reducing their impact. Uh, so cost engineers focus on calculating risk and seeing how those risks will set back our project budget. So uh, project control and cost engineers follow um, a document that is called project execution plan and this document contains things like a guide for the execution of the project, um, documents, constraints, and alternatives. Uh, they also provide a tool to communicate with stakeholders, uh, establish project milestones and deliverables. The project execution plan also sets a scope of costs and schedule baselines and progress measurement. So some, some of the things that um, cost engineers should be able to know um, uh, when they are coming into a project are what are the project objectives? What are the scope? What is the scope of the work, both technical and functional? How is the project going to be organized? Uh, who will be in charge of management and execution of the project? When does the project need to be completed? Uh, how much would the project cost? So, um, Again, the project execution plan uh, has three main elements, uh, uh, which could be uh, broken down into subsections. The three elements are defining the vision of success, defining the strategy for success, defining the tools for success. So, um, so these are the main things that cost engineers focus on and keep their mind on when, when doing a project. So there's a total of 15 elements in the project execution plan. But the most, the six most important are the scope of work, the risk management plan, contract plan, time management plan, cost management plan, and change management plan. So the first one, scope of work. So this is said to be the most important element for cost engineers because it is the foundation of the entire project. So the objective of scope of work is to give it uh, a clear understanding of tasks and deadlines to be performed in order to complete the project. So this includes um, descriptions, specifications, drawings, and studies done on the project. So the scope of work tells you um, uh, what would the facility do? So what would it be used for? What would it do? Is it a hospital? Is it a uh, of school, things like that. Um, it also tells you the production capability. 
So what materials will be needed? Uh, what materials will be needed to be made? So like, um, so um, the course engineers they also focus on things that um, the owner might have missed in the scope of work. So they they you know um, they ask themselves. Um, does the location make sense? Um, uh, and what type of um, payment would the contractor receive? So, lump sum, unit price. The second element of the project execution plan is risk management plan. So the objective of the risk management plan, uh, focuses on risk that might come up and it makes plans to help diminish them. So some of the steps that can be taken to mitigate risk are first to identify the risk in detail. Uh, second would be to determine the probability of a happening and the possible impact uh, where so it would it have the de would it delay the entire project um, and of course it's going to have cost impact it's going to kind of change the cost uh, so finally once you know how um, what are the risks and what are the probabilities of it happening you determine from the you determine how how big the risk is, so you will give the risk a grade from say high, medium, or low. How how bad is the risk? And from there, you make a decision that that it's good for the whole project. The next element is the contract plan. So the objective of the contract plan is to set the specific responsi responsibilities of the contractor and owner. So it mainly focuses on the role of the contractor and the scope of work. This is important because it helps cost engineers establish a budget. Uh, it also allows for a better scope and details of the control activities. So things that can be controlled, um, the workers. Uh, so additionally, the cost engineer will be able to evaluate risks in the contracting method. So there's different risks. So let's say, uh, for example, fast track construction that is usually paired with um, cost plus fee compensation it has different risks than other methods. Actually has more risk. Uh, the next element is time management plan. The objective of the time management plan is to determine how schedules would be developed and also have a understanding of the progress and how is it how is it being controlled? So this can impact the cost because yeah, if you if you delay the project, it will there's there's more days to be worked on, so more money to be spent. Uh, So some of the things that the project control and cost engineers focus on in the time management plan are the schedule preparations. So how will the schedule be prepared? What is the critical path? And is there a master schedule? It also, the time management plan also establishes like responsibilities that, a lie 
on the owner versus the contractor. So it just needs to be clear. Um, it also, there also needs to be a progress measurement and control, like I said before. And also, um, you need to know uh, resources, what resources are needed from whom. So, resource, owner resources, contractor resources, project resources. Um, operational resources so there's not only materials so there's other kind of resources that are needed contracts those all come into the time management plan uh, so two more the cost management plan so the objective of the cost cost engineer in the cost management plan is to decide how cost will be estimated reported and control so the cost of the project is closely related to the scope of the work resources and productive trends so there needs to be a cost estimate and cost reporting so that and the estimate has to include things like the, the overall project cost uh, and individual calls for individual projects and subcontractors. Finally, the change management plan. The objective of the potential for changes, so no, sorry. The change management plan. So the objective is to identify the potential sh changes based on the scope of the work and the management and changes by project team. So this basically lets uh, project control and cost engineers uh, plan for um, uncertainty like uh, that could be due to um, the sign complexity, uh, customer commitment, so example would be like uh, you hire a contractor and the contractor does does not want to do the project anymore and he he leaves you need to, uh, you need to know what to do if something like that happens 